Capcut vs Filmora. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and let's see which one is better for the beginners. So when it comes to Capcut, you can do the basic editing on Capcut quite easily and as for the Filmora, you can do the basic editing but you can also go for the advanced level of editing on Filmora. You can get it for free and you can also buy the advanced version. But for the CapCut, you can start for free and you can use all the features for free. But there's one problem with CapCut and the problem is that it is slow and in some countries where it is banned, you might even require a VPN in order to access CapCut. But when it comes to Filmora, it is quite fast and there's no VPN required when it comes to using Filmora. Moreover, you can utilize Filmora even when you are offline, but when it comes to CapCut, some of the features might not be accessible when you want to use them offline. So you might need to be online in order to access some of the features of CapCut. And as for the beginners, if you are going for the template version of editing where all the templates are there for you, you just have to use these templates and do the editing then CapCut is best. But if you are someone who wants to learn something new and can do a little bit of learning then Filmora can be a great tool for you in order to do the better editing and be more flexible with your edits. So it's all up to you whether you want to be more flexible with your edits or you just want to do the basic editing then you can just simply go with the CapCut. By the way, if you are someone who hates waiting and don't have the patience, then you should go with the Filmora as it is quite a smooth and works offline as well. So I hope this short tutorial was helpful. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.